Are you getting the Apple iPad Mini, Google Chromebook, or Microsoft Surface? You all have spoken and the results are surprising. We demo some new Google Now voice commands, a new Angry Birds Star Wars video is released, and a look at 8-Bit's new letterpress for iOS. All this and more today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app news and reviews. I'm Mauricio Balvanera. And I'm Jackie Talbot. And we have lots of news today. So many things have happened in the past few days. There's a lot going on a right lot. now. Uh, mm -hmm. I think first and foremost, though, um, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween! Woo! You're a skeleton. Very oh, nice I'm job. a skeleton. Hey. Thanks. And also, you look great. <laughs> don't I? Great costume. Right. right. You guys know who I am, yeah. right? Yeah. If you don't get it, then I mean, just. If you don't know who I am. That's that's, that's pretty, pretty embarrassing. Sad. But it looks great. You, yeah. look, you look really good. Thanks. Um, anyways, let's talk about Scott Forstall. Scott Forstall. Man, Scott Forstall, head of Apple's iPhone software development, was asked to resign after he refused to sign a letter apologizing for the flaws in Apple's mapping application. This has been big news for the past couple days, yeah. and it, this is obviously fallout of everyone's hatred for um, iPhone's new map application. Well, it's awful, and you know they obviously have to put out a public apology, and he's just like. Sorry, I wasn't the only one to blame for this. Yeah, well, I mean, he is the head of the department. <laughs> exactly, so, exactly. But um, he's like, I'm not taking responsibility, so. That's a weird one. Yeah. Um, eh, wow, this is this is like Google's time to come up. And they kind of have at and this point. And they absolutely are. They're yeah. working on it. Yeah. Big, big announcements made, uh, what was it, beginning of this week? Um, yes, on Monday uh, was their big non-event. Non the non-event, which was canceled <laughs> due to uh, Hurricane Sandy here yeah. in the US. Um, but they still, nonetheless, Announcing a lot of new stuff, a lot of hardware stuff, a lot of hard, uh, software stuff, though, as well. Google Search is updated, and it now brings new Google Now cards and voice actions. Uh, some of the new updates, Google Now works with Gmail. This is uh, English only. Right. But it's going to look at your uh, Gmail and, and, and look at information, call information so from there. Uh, it can track flights. You can check restaurant reservations. You can do hotel confirmations, check out local events in your area, even track packages. I actually can see a mm -hmm. new package that is currently on its way via UPS in my Google Now. Right there, so easy. And I, cr Boom. I think that's crazy that it reads your emails for you and like <laughs> Google, organizes it for stop you. Stop being creepy. You're so sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so some new uh, Now cars include nearby attractions, um, photo spots, movie openings in theaters, concerts, and more. New voice actions, these are the cool ones. You can launch apps, yeah. schedule meetings, and check when you have an appointment in Google Calendar. We, need, we should try that out. Let's try these. Let's here, try you, you Let try me do these. It. Here. What's the flight status of Virgin America 353? Virgin America 353 from Boston to San Francisco is canceled and arrives in four hours, one minute. That, uh -huh. sounds, that sounds like a Sandy uh, no, duh. cancellation there. Yeah, that was canceled, but it works. Yeah, let's, let's try uh, launching an app. Launch Facebook. Very nice. Nice job. Easy. Okay. What else? All right. Set calendar event for breakfast at Tiffany's tomorrow at 8 a.m. Wow. There it is. Set. That's my Done. calendar. That's an expensive breakfast, Jackie. You're welcome. Treat yourself. Treat yourself once in a while now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there is one more that isn't quite working. Let's, let's try this here. Which one? Turn on Bluetooth. Sorry, device features are not yet supported, which means it will be soon, I'm hoping. Because yet is a heavy word. That's right. So, yeah. Anyways, cool. Let's move Works on. well, yeah. yes. So, we asked you guys what device are you going to buy? A, the iPad mini, B, Google Chromebook, C, Microsoft Surface, or D, which we let you fill in the blank, and you did, <laughs> to D, the Nexus 7. Nice job, YouTube. Yes. Uh, good answer. <laughs> really good answer. Really good answer. I like the Nexus 7 a lot. Yeah. So as we know, the Google event uh, was supposed to happen on Monday, mm -hmm. but it did not because of Hurricane Sandy. Um, but the announcement still happened. Yep. We now have three new different size devices of Nexus devices. <laughs> <laughs> Nexus 4 is the latest smartphone. It's yeah. developed with LG. Sexy looking phone. Really Very nice. nice. Yes, yeah. it has a quad-core processor, and it actually is going to be Roger Chang of Techzilla's very first Android. The, the leader of our top tech show here at Vision Three has been using a BlackBerry. For he is coming from BlackBerry. Ages. Yeah. 
to the Nexus 4. Man, Congratulations, he's gonna, Roger. You're going to get your world. Send him a tweet. Congratulate him. <laughs> yeah. They also announced uh, the Nexus 7 updates as yep. well as the Nexus 10, which I'm actually pretty excited about. Uh, these both run Android 4.2. Actually, they all run Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. Yep. And if you want to see all the specs, all the updates, um, go ahead and check out Google's blog post. We linked it below. They have yep. a ton of information in there. I'm actually really excited about the Nexus 10. I, God, I should have waited. So I ordered the iPad mini, and I really was wanting the Nexus 7 with LTE. Um, it's not getting LTE. No. It's getting um, HSPA+. Plus. Right. Um, On the 32 gigabyte size. Still, it's fine. Yeah. Um, it's half the price of an iPad mini with Wi-Fi. I'm uh, sorry, with LTE. Right. Um, not LTE. No, iPad mini has LTE. Yes. Yes, Correct. just kidding. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let us know what you think. These are some pretty awesome specs on, on the, the new Nexus family. Yeah, Google's getting in there and Nexus. Getting in there, Google. All right, Rovio has released an Angry Birds Star Wars gameplay video, and it has lasers, pew pew, uh, lightsabers, and uh, Princess Leia. Of course. They're very bored, Princess Leia. <laughs> Check this out. All right, that's kind of cute. Aww. The, the at-ats, the at is getting taken down by, <laughs> yeah. That's really Star cool. Star Wars Anything is kind of great. Star so. Wars Anything. Star Wars is all over the news today after Disney announced that they were going to purchase Lucasfilm for uh, $4.05 billion. Nice handful of cash there. Yeah. That thing. That thing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the game is available November 8th. You can check out more information at angrybirds.com slash Star Wars. That's right. Yes. But we've got more news. More news. Microsoft has released the Windows Phone Software Development Kit. So, speaking of Google Search, it's now available on iOS. It's so good. That's right. Pandora's new iOS and Android apps get a major overhaul. It's so good. <laughs> and finally, we have the video of Borderlands Legends we've promised you. Yep, here it is. And it's uh, one big sort of meh. Really? I, you know. Tara seemed to like it um, for what it was. You know, it's definitely not Borderlands for iOS, as we mentioned before. Yeah. Look, if, if this didn't have the Borderlands branding on it, it would just be a, a dumb overhead role playing game. Um, I have to say, if you haven't played Battle Hearts, I think that's a much better game. That's available both on Android and iOS. And it's got that four character, they all have different roles, and it's just, it's. And I would assume Tighter since gameplay. it doesn't have the Borderlands brand, the price point's a little bit better? Probably much, much better. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you know, sorry we couldn't show you video before. It's one of those... Um, you know what? There's so many rules, rules with video games, if you guys didn't know. Stupid journalism. <laughs> stupid, stupid journalism. Rules. Rules and rules. All right, coming up, Graham and I take a look at the awesome new letterpress game by 8-Bits. But first, Jackie, have you seen Six Days to Air? Six Days, Eric, I have not. It's really good. Okay, Is you like South Park, right? Yes, of course. All right. Yeah. So it's a short documentary. It's about 40 minutes long. It's not too bad. Uh, where you go behind the scenes at South Park Studios with Trey Parker and Matt Stone, and you see how an episode is created in just six days. That's insane. <laughs> That's very impressive. The, the short doc focuses on season 15 premiere of uh, Human Centipede. I don't know if you remember that one. I actually saw that recently. Disgusting. That new episode, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's a little upsetting. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I was browsing through Netflix and there it was, ready to watch. Pretty cool. That's awesome. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV with your Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, or Nintendo Wii console, plus your Apple devices, your Android devices, Kindles, Nooks. Yeah. You can get a free 30-day trial membership. Just go to Netflix.com slash AJ and sign up right now. Graham, are you enjoying the Google search? the new Google search app? I am, it's really, uh, they built in Google Now, I guess the, the voice search part of Google Now into right. uh, the iOS app for Google. I'm, now it's smoking fast, it I'm really impressed. It's serious to shame. A little bit, but you're actually here to talk about Letterpress, I the am. new 8-bit game. 
Uh, tell us a little about the history of 8-Bit. He's, he's been around the block for a yeah, while. Yeah, so it's Lauren Brichter. He used to be an Apple developer, and he quit uh, some time ago to form 8-Bits, which is the company that did Tweety. And yeah. so, uh, I say company, it's just him. Him, yeah. <laughs> uh, he did Tweety. Tweety was the most famous, well-renowned, and most downloaded uh, iOS app for Twitter. Twitter. So famous, in fact, that Twitter purchased yeah. Tweety and 8-Bits, and uh, Lauren Brichter went to go work for Twitter for a while. Uh, he quit after about a year, and mm -hmm. it's been kind of like, well, what's he going to do next? Yeah. Uh, and he finally made an announcement a couple of weeks ago saying, I'm back, and my next thing is a game. I made a game. <laughs> Play it. And so everyone's like, oh, cool, you made a game. We'll <laughs> see. And then uh, he, we found out about Letterpress. Yeah. It is amazing. It is I love it. Really good. So just uh, some basics of the game here. It uh, pits two players against each other in a battle of words. It's a five-by-five five grid of randomly selected letters. So it's a very simple Board. Yeah, and simple concept yeah. as well. You're um, supposed to just spell words to gain points while at the same time surrounding other uh, letters to block them off in your color. Exactly. And at the end of the game, the game basically ends when all of the letters on the board have been used to spell a word right. during uh, the playing of the game. And whoever has the most blocks in their color is the winner. Yeah. You're not just trying to build giant word Scrabble style. Yeah. You, you want to try to block out letters. You're trying to... Um, you know, take over yeah. squares that they've colored in. Right. The point of blocking a letter out is is that you have you now own that letter. They yeah. can they can use it in a word, but it won't change to their color. Right. So the more letters that you block out, the more uh, the 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 less likely it is they're going to end up with more blocks in their color yeah. when the game ends. So. And now this is asynchronous play. Um, uh, you'll be familiar with asynchronous play if you've played Words with Friends. Uh, you play your hand, you send it out to the clouds and you wait for your opponent to come yeah. back with a response. And hopefully they're paying attention so you can all get the game going really fast. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> uh, the game is free, although you can pay, I think it's a buck ninety nine to upgrade uh, with the ability to have more than two games, and you're going to want to have that, yeah. Um, and you also have the option to change backgrounds and track words that you've used, and I found that pretty useful. I know you've been using that. Sure. Uh, some pros and cons here. Pros, it's a good game. It's amazing. It's, it's well game. designed. Yeah. The sound, the sounds of it are Everything. great as well. Animations. There's even like when you pick a tile, there's a little shadow that forms around it. Yeah. Like, touches like that are why, you know, you know that Lauren Brichter was behind this game. The so. design aspect of this is pretty awesome. Uh, there are a good amount of cons here. Uh, surprising for a game that we we're recommending this. Mm -hmm. It's a really Absolutely. really good game. Go download it. Yeah, but um, I, I wish there was a, a handoff gameplay mode where you right. don't have to play offline synchronously. Yeah, yeah. Off, yeah, well put. Offline, yeah. just offline. Um, and there's been some network issues lately. Yeah, I think it's because this game is basically built on the back of Game Center, which it should be. I mean, as Apple has promised, and the promise of Game Center is that it is this uh, way to play games with your friends. Yeah. And this game really utilizes Game Center more than any other game that I've seen right. on iOS. And I think it's too it's 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 not to its benefit right now because Game Center I don't think was ready yeah. for a game this popular. Um, there has been network issues, connectivity issues, yeah. uh, turns being like just disappearing in thin air and things like that, and games abruptly ending for no reason. I think that all of that will get ironed out as Apple and Lauren Brichter work together and figure out uh, you know the the kinks so to say. Yeah, yeah. Well, let us know what you think. Uh, hit us up on Twitter. Facebook, YouTube, and uh, hit me up on, on uh, Game Center. I'm Mal Brown Cow. And I am Graham Hancock. And uh, we'll see you on Friday. See ya.